Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Warped. Today, we're coming back here to uh, Warp Room 1 to get the relics. Now the thing about the relics, they're time trials. So yeah, you just have to beat the level in uh, the allotted amount of time, well, you know, next to that relic right there, to gain a relic. Well, alright, beating that blue time nets you a sapphire relic. And then once you grab the sapphire relic and come back and you step on it again, you'll see a gold relic. If you beat that time, you get the gold relic. And there's even better times than that, with platinum relics and even developer's times. I have never beaten a developer's time in my life. Those are ridiculous. Like, And plus, you can't even, like, even... I, I'm just muddling over all my words right now, but you can't even think about defeating, de defeating a developer time until you've beaten the game because of one of the final uh, power-ups you get. So, yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and go for this. Uh, to really get 100%, or is it 105%? Uh, I, I don't know. Like, pretty much, like, to get all the levels, you only need to beat um, the Sapphire time, but to get 105%, you need to beat the gold time. So I'll be going for all the gold times, but if I can't get them, at least I'll have the Sapphire times, and I can just still advance through all the levels, and then I'll focus on getting gold times once I've beaten everything. And we're going to be doing all these in one video, because they're speed runs. I'm not gonna be focusing on boxes, Owen. Why? Why must you continue to be a thorn in our side? What? Where was I? Oh, Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything, but a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. Okay, um... I thought you don't get that until you go to the second warp room and start one of those levels. All right, you see that clock right there? We want to grab that and just start running. Huh. Okay, it looks like I don't think I'll be getting the gold time. I'm moving rather slow. Okay, but yeah, you got yellow boxes here. You can break those to pause the clock for you know, a few seconds. Well, one, pause it for one second, two, pause it for two, and so on and so on. Alright. Ah, crap! Yeah, I'm not getting gold for this one. I am not getting gold for this one. But oh well, like I said, I'll probably just go for gold at the end of the game then. Well, I might have a chance. I might have a chance. Nope. Enough of your sword shenanigans. Yeah, gold's not happening. Gold is not happening. And... There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I barely got Sapphire. So we'll just go with the typical AAA. I wonder what was gold for that one. Yeah, your best bet for getting all go Ooh, 57 seconds? I have to shave off 4 seconds. If I didn't have to run back for that uh, 2 crate, I probably could have shaved off 2 seconds from that. But... Yeah, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to come back to that once I've beaten the game. One of the final power-ups you get is the ability to dash. So, yeah, you, you kind of need that for some of these. I might be able to get this one, though. Since there's really no running involved, you're just swimming fast. Just got to be careful with the little thing. And, oh, come on. Crash, Coco. If you have already retrieved a level's crystal, then you will find a floating clock when you enter for the second time. This floating clock activates time trial mode. Grab it, and the clock will start ticking. Race for the end to get the best time. But beware, 
some elements will change. I like how he tells us that after we've already disclosed all this. But whatever, Aku Aku just wants to feel important. Who? This might be a tough one. This might be a toughie. Might be a toughie indeed. Okay, so... Alright, we're just swimming, we're swimming, we're swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. And grab two seconds. Alright! Eels, where do they come out? Crap! Yeah, that's kind of brutal. Kind of brutal. Actually... Common sense will tell me to grab this first. Or common sense can just, you know, kick me in the teeth. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of sucking really bad right now. Alright, come on. Yeah, this is not going too well. Oh, crap. Alright, ah, no, he's stuck! That went considerably fast. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think I'll begin that goal time either for this one. Well, when there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Ah, oh, crap! Yeah, I lost that. I think I'm nearing the end. Crap! Yeah, okay. Whatever. I can... Oh, crap! It's st the clock was still going! Cr ah! Damn. I'm gonna be so mad if it was just like a second or two that I lost it by. Just because the clock was still going. But I did trip up on a few spots here and there. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I was not gonna get gold. Oh, wait a minute. Damn, my mistake, my mistake. No, no. Sapphire is good enough to get 100%, but gold nets you uh, another little uh, bonus at the end. And I've never actually seen that bonus myself, so. Alright, whatever. Anyway, Orient Express Time Trial. We're just gonna be using the boost throughout this whole thing. This might go by a bit fast. Let me just make sure I grab that. Alright, so here we go. We're just running. That's all we're doing. I don't care about those barrels. Yeah, we can just avoid him. Ah, crap. Whatever. Like I said, I'm not going for developer's times, I'm just going for- CRAP! I'm, I'm just going, you know, for, for completion. I think the goal time for this is, uh, 30 seconds anyway. No, 15 seconds. I'm just focusing- CRAP! What's the point of having a mask if you still take instant death right there? Yeah, alright, screw this, I'm just gonna focus. Enough talking for me.
Yeah, that was horrible. That was horrible. I missed a lot of boxes, but I'm shocked I was able to make that jump without the boost. Did I get any Oh, okay, I was about to say. So yeah, if memory serves correct, it's uh like 15 or 20 seconds for gold on that one. Actually, will I go for gold at this point? I figured it would just be a, only a few levels I had to go back to. Oh, I was only one second away?! Oh, Damn. Oh, Alright, whatever. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. I'll, I'll just beat the game normally then, and then, like, off camera, I'll go back and get the gold relics just to tack on the, uh... The thing, the uh, little bonus dealy. Only right, time for this time trial. Okay, just rearranging my finger on the analog stick. Or I will not let it go. When you have the ability to dash, you can really leave that triceratops in the dust. It's quite funny, really. Seriously, the white triceratops. I mean, he's, he's not the most intimidating dinosaur. Plus, they were herbivores. And herbivores are never intimidating. Why would I spin the freaking <laughs> TNT? That cost me invincibility which is helpful for the grass. So now I gotta jump over it like a commoner. Oh my dear god. Alright, you know what? No. Screw this. I, I need invincibility. Alright, so let's hope I don't screw this up. And yeah, one little way to save some time. Oh, the Triceratops actually destroys any crate in his path, so... Pretty much, you can just save some time by not really worrying about them and just keep running, and he'll end up breaking the little time crates for you. So yeah, we're just kind of, you know, speeding through all this. Please do not end on me. Wow, it ended on me right when I was about to touch an enemy. How troll-tastic. Okay. I think I want to hit you. None of those were time crates. I was lied to! Alright, go ahead and break that for me. Thank you, Triceratops. You're useful for something, even though you're a lame dinosaur. That's okay. We still love you, Triceratops. We still love you. Well, some people do. I am not one of them. See, I'm more of a T-Rex guy. And a Brontosaurus guy. I don't care if the official scientific name was changed. There's still Brontosaurus to me, damn it. Why would I hit that? Oh, okay. I was kind of cutting it close there. Oh, well, whatever. Wow, there's only five more seconds you have to shave off for that? Huh. So then, is it even possible to do it without the dash, then? Oh, whatever. Last one... Uh, last time trial for this video, rather. Because, yeah, there's going to be one more level we do. See, every five... Uh, yeah, every five relics you get unlocks... a level in the Secret Warp Room. So yeah, there actually aren't, uh, what's what I'm looking for, uh, little secret exits. They're just, you know, they're just unlocked by relics in this game. Kind of a downer, but, eh, whatever. We, we can deal without secret exits. Yeah, I could probably get gold in this level, too, since it's... What? 
Um. Oh, oh okay. So did, did I hit the bomb before I hit the mask? I don't. I don't understand. I'm still confused, and I'm still just running through this, and I missed that. So it looks like I'm not going to be getting gold. Or at least I might be able to, but I'm just not going to get developer's time. Because if I ever get a developer's time, I'm going to be, like, just so ecstatic. Okay. No, 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 no. Not today, bombs or cannons. Man, I... Crap. I think these are considered Atlantis levels, too. Which is kind of weird, but eh, whatever. There we go. Holy crap, am I even gonna get Sapphire? Forgot what the time was. just focusing now. I think I might have screwed up. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Ooh. So, yeah, I assume that 56, that might have been gold that I got on one of my old files. see what the time is. Oh, yep, yep, that was gold I had on an old file then. Alright, well, that's it for that. And in the middle, we now have this. And it takes us to the secret warp room that is underneath. This is where Cortex's assistants are born. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, we have levels 26, 27, 28, and 29. We have Ski Crazed, Hang em High, the secret entrance to hang them high. Area 51! Future Frenzy! And Rings of Power. Alright, so anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do Ski Craze. It's a jet ski level. All we have to worry about is getting all the boxes for the gym. I do not recall this one at all. Will I go for the relic for this one in this city? Uh, might as well, might as well. Okay, this one is a bit more open-ended. So it's easy to get lost. But just keep your wits about you and avoid hitting any and all crates. And you'll do just fine. Alright good so far. I'm just going to be ultra careful on this one. This is, for the most part, an in-game level. So you just want to be careful. Avoid things that wish to cause you pain. Still fairly linear, though. Okay, so now we got this neat little area. Not really neat, just sort of random. Are there any underwater crates in this one? Those are especially annoying because you can go past them and like not even notice that they're there. Doesn't seem to be though. being really careful. There's 100 crates here. If I miss one, I'm going to be very disappointed. Okay. Yeah, so uh, slow-paced jet ski. Why not? Why not? Okay, so that Went underneath that one. 
there was an underwater crate there, I would have got that one easily, but... Gotta watch out for Nitro right there, just con inconspicuously suspended in the air. Because that, that's what Nitro does, that, that's its natural habitat. You know, just hanging out in the air. Ready to kill any bird that comes its way. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, ah, crap, they move! Yet they're still rather easy to avoid. I apologize for how slow this is going, but I do not want to miss crates on a jet ski level. And I just keep interchanging crates and boxes and everything. Everything over here. Okay. Well, next, will I be calling them cubes? Wooden cubes? There we go. Got them both by doing a barrel roll. Peppy would be proud. Okay. My god, I am just... I apologize for how slow this is going. Alright. Crap! I lost my safety net. I have 25 lives. Huh. I'm not sure if that's enough. I need more. I also need 38 more of these. Oh, dear God. Ah, crap. This is especially intimidating. Ah, crap! I'm just hitting these really horribly and cautiously. And of course, I miss another one. Ah. Okay, come on camera, cooperate. Okay. We're switching the D-pad for this one. Okay. There we go. There we go. Eight more to go. Please do not... Oh, for the love of God. I was able to get out of that unscathed, but... Oh, okay, this one's actually not that bad. these ramps. It's kind of there. Unless there's an underwater box I'm not seeing. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this... There has to be an underwater box then. That's the only way. That's the only way. I was being careful. One moment. Okay, I backtracked through the entire freaking level. There was one I missed right here. That is all of them. Now to make it to the end without dying. My God! Please, please, do do not let me hit a bomb. Maybe I should just take it slow. I should just take it slow. Oh my God! Luckily, the hit boxes are rather forgiving. 
then again, it's a freaking bomb if you run into it. I, I don't know what I'm trying to get at here. I just want this to be done. Because <laughs> now I'm kind of on edge. For if I screw up, then my best plan of action would be to just go ahead and restart the level. And do it all again! Okay, no bombs, no bombs. Aside from that one, okay, I'm gonna slow down now. And that is why these levels can be annoying when you're going for, uh, the gems. Because if you miss one box, it's, it's kind of a wrap. Kind of a wrap. Especially if you get a checkpoint after the one you miss. Like, Red is more forgiving than some crash levels, namely Cold Hard Crash, since you have the option to go back to get it. But with all the bombs and enemies everywhere, it's kind of annoying. However, we got it, and now to get the uh, relic for Ski Crazed. And since you've already seen that, well, seen me complete the level normally, or at least with all the freaking boxes, I'm just going to go ahead and speed it up. Besides, this episode is going to be pretty long anyway. So, yep. Enjoy the music! I have to beat a minute 16, holy shit. Okay, that was a bit tougher than I remembered. Holy crap. Um, damn. Oh, that was only ten minutes? Wow, that felt longer. Uh, that was quite a few attempts of that. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll just keep in the successful run. Whatever. Alright, so yeah, that was Ski Craze. Uh, the first part of the Secret Warp Room. Whew. Thankfully, none of the rest of the Warp Room levels are that hard. Well, Secret Warp Room levels are that hard. Aside from Area 51, I am not looking forward to that one. You will see why later. So next time, we're going to this Arabic period for easier levels. I greatly welcome them. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye. <laughs>